Good morning, guys. This is the view from the front porch. It's a Saturday morning, May the 16th, 2020. I want to take a break from the commands of Christ to focus on what I'll be preaching on probably the next three Sundays. And please remember, we'll have Sunday services at 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. and you come at the time that you came at last week. And if you're a visitor, you're welcome to come at either time. Just be mindful of what we have going on, and I'll walk through that in just a second, especially since tomorrow we're honoring our graduates. So you want to be aware of that. The next three Sundays, the 17th, 24th, and 31st, Lord willing, I will preach on why do bad things happen to good people? And you'll actually hear that question morph as we go along because we're going to answer tomorrow. We'll start to answer what makes a thing bad, what makes a person good, and do things really just happen to people? Or is God involved? We're going to start with the life of Job. And I want to share with you a passage from Job. If you've never heard or read the story of Job, I encourage you to at least read through chapters 1 and 2. Job suffered a lot. And I guess if we wanted to start with the definition of bad things, we'd start with what happened to Job. But listen to what it says in Job 1, verses 20, 21, and 22. And this is after the first wave of bad things that had hit Job. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this Job did not sin, nor charged God foolishly. How do you respond to the bad things that happen in your life? Really, that's the key, isn't it? I mean, at, at some point, we're all going to deal with bad things. We're all going to lose a loved one. We're all going to go through a difficulty. It's rare the life that doesn't suffer some form of struggle or suffering or trial or tribulation. And if it does, if nothing else, there is the reality of death that hits us all. So how do you respond? How do you respond to that? Well, Job helps us to see that. And part of that is worship. And I would ask you this, how has the struggle you've had challenged you to worship God more? Because at least for God's people and maybe for all people, one of the ultimate goals of suffering for God for us is that we worship him more. He is worthy of our worship. So I pray God will help you in the good times and bad be prompted to worship him and love him and serve him as you should. So let me share some things about tomorrow. Let me remind you tomorrow at 9.30 and 11 are our two services. And we're going to go for a walk again real quick because it is kind of special tomorrow with our graduates coming on board. Let me just step up here real quick and remind you that we want to come through this side door or if you don't mind going through the other side door the center will be blocked off but for a slightly different reason this sunday let's walk on into the foyer and i just want to show you that because we're honoring our graduates and we're keeping everything in here we've set up a table right there for our high school graduates we have all of their names there Plus for our college graduates, we have a table set up here. Those baskets and trays are there to encourage you to leave them a note of encouragement, maybe even a gift or a blessing of encouragement. And we have all of their names set up there and we will have all of their names on the college side as well. Let me also remind you that we still have the, uh, the little church you can put your offering in. We have the hand sanitizer. We will have the masks for tomorrow, so please be aware of that. If you have a mask you can bring, you're welcome to bring that. If you don't want to wear a mask, you're welcome with regard to that as well. We just want to provide you every option and every opportunity. When we honor our graduates in the morning, they will be coming down front, and let me remind you, when you come into the sanctuary, you want to sit on every other pew, and those will be marked, so please be aware of that. And at the beginning of our service, what we'll do is we'll honor our grads. We hope to be able to do that during both services. 
and we'll ask them to come down front. We have Bibles, one-year Bibles, to give to our high school grads and a devotional book to give to our college grads. So I pray that God will bless you today, and I pray that you'll come prepared for worship tomorrow, and in spite of whatever happens in your life, good or bad, let's give God the worship that he deserves. God bless you, and hope you have a great Saturday.